Alrighty. So this is going to be a mid-June check-in, love check-in for my Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and get straight into your messages for the rest of June. All right. So let's see what's going on. Sagittarius from now until the end of June 2019. What is the energy they're going to be experiencing in love? Now until the end of June 2019 for my Sagittarius. And this is a general message. It will not apply to every Sagittarius out there. That's why I do advise that you guys do get a personal reading. If you are interested in a personal reading, my website link will be listed below for you guys in the description box. All right. All right, let's make sure. Okay, yeah, we're going to do Sagittarius today. Alrighty, so your feelings for your person, your person's feelings for you, the obstacle or issue that may be present, your person's actions towards you, the advice for your love life, and the outcome for your love life for the rest of June. Give me two romance angel cards for my Sagittarius when it comes to their love life. What is the energy they may be experiencing from now until the end of June 2019? One, two. Okay. Let me adjust these cards so you guys can see them. All right, cool. So let's get straight into it, guys. So what I'm seeing for you guys, let's cover the Romance Angel cards first. At the bottom of the deck, I do have codependency. And for some of you guys, there could be like a form of addictions within the relationship, whether this is like drug use or for some of you guys, this could just be your partner being addicted to you, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> they could be addicted to you like in a sexual sense. For others of you, they could be addicted to your company or for some of you guys, uh, it's just you guys may be codependent on each other like you guys have this bond where no matter what happens you guys are like attracted to each other and you guys always like come back together no matter what really takes place here and for some of you guys you could be in a space of needing some advice right now because you could be feeling a strong bond with someone but not understanding it okay. And also what I have here as well, I do have separation and then reconciliation. So again, kind of confirming what I was just saying about how for some of you guys, you guys break up to make up. For others of you, it's like no matter how much you guys are apart, you guys just come back to each other because you guys have like this need for each other, if that makes sense. But let's go ahead and get straight into this reading. Um, what I am seeing for your feelings for your person, I do have the seven of wands and you could be feeling as if this person is a little defensive or some of you guys could be taking this route of being defensive towards your partner. For some of you guys as well, there may have been obstacles present within the relationship prior to like this month. Um, for some of you guys, it could have just started up this month, but I am seeing that there's obstacles present and it may be taking a level of like you having to persevere past the issues to actually make the relationship flow here. Clarifying it, I do have the seven of pentacles. So yeah, this could be a connection that you've invested a lot of time and energy into and you could be in a space of just trying to be patient and wait for something good to come out of the connection here and there may have been cheating at one point or even avoidance at one point um that was causing the foundation to be unstable but i feel like there is a need for you guys to change your perspective when it comes to this person from your past because i feel like there is a possibility for to heal a possibility for you to heal it it's just a matter of you confronting what you emotionally don't like about the connection and speaking your mind if that makes sense but what I am seeing here for your person's feelings, I do have the Nine of Cups. With this, this person feels as if you emotionally fulfill their wishes. Like, they feel as if you are, like, somewhat of an emotional... 
dream come true or like you bring emotional fulfillment to them or you would be like a wish come true if they were to make things better with you yeah you guys are right there six of wands this person wants a level of success within a connection with you for others of you this person may want attention like more attention from you but more so i really feel like this person is very much wanting um the connection back the way it was prior to whatever issues you guys may have had at one point and they're willing to be patient with you as well. Because you guys may be in two different like spaces, if that makes sense. But what I am seeing here for the obstacle or issue that may be present for your love life, I do have the Queen of Pentacles. And for some of you guys, this could be an Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or this could just be the energy of like there not being enough finances. Like somebody having to focus more on their finances or like issues with finances taking a toll on the relationship, making it hard for you guys to really build the connection the way you want to. Yeah. Also, like I said, there may be like some sort of infidelities here um, that's causing the relationship to be unstable. Also, again, if there's like money issues, somebody may be avoiding the other person to focus on that. But what I am seeing here for your person's actions towards you for the rest of the month, I do have the Knight of Swords in reverse. And I don't feel like this person is going to be taking much action. Um, if they were the type of person to randomly like rush in and communicate with you, I don't feel like they're going to do it um, coming into this point due to the fact that this person is just wanting to move past the issues you guys may have had. And if you guys can't, this person's in the space of having to move on and just focus on their sense of stability, if that makes sense. Because they feel as if they don't know what to do with this connection and they don't want to keep putting themselves back into this if they don't know what's going to be the outcome. All right. So this person may be focusing on healing, but I feel like this person still wishes for you guys to clear up some things, all right? Especially if you're dealing with an air sign, strong Aquarius energy, or Aries. But the advice for your love life for the rest of the month, I do have the lover's card. And with this, you guys do need to make some decisions about your love life, especially if you do have two possible suitors in mind. For others of you, this is you making a head over heart decision about what's best for you in your love life. Is this the best idea for you to jump back into a connection with someone or is it not? But I am seeing that you guys do need to make some decisions about what emotionally does it fulfill you and finding what is going to work for you and what is going to be something that could possibly be stable and something that you can nurture with someone. All right. And the last card, this is going to represent the outcome of your love life for June 2019. And I do have the Nine of Pentacles. So for a lot of you guys, you are going to take this stance of just focusing on yourself and your finances, making sure that your health is in the best in the best place as well. Like for some of you guys, you may be taking the initiative to work out or taking the initiative to just eat better. Um, for some of you guys as well, like making sure that your spending habits are in a better space, but definitely taking time to focus on yourself and being independent because you guys are in a space of really feeling as if you don't know what to do with your love life. And a lot of you guys will be taking the time to really just mentally move on from things that have been blocking you from moving forward, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm seeing for my Sagittarius. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it did resonate, please make sure you like this video, comment below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, if you do want a personal reading, that information will be listed below. I wish you guys the best of luck, and I will talk to you beautiful Sagittarius in the next one. Bye, guys.